Good morning, everyone. I want to quickly cover the summary of yesterday's stream with the 5700 XT and the 5600 XT. But before we do that, I did get data as well for the P106-100, and we are actually going to start off with that. So in front of you right here, you can see all of the hash rate and efficiency settings I was able to pull from this P106-100. Keep in mind, this is a $20 GPU. So the fact that we're able to see some of the efficiencies that we're seeing is, in my opinion, pretty impressive. So the fact that we were able to get up to 23 souls on flux, pretty impressive. And actually had a uh, viewer overclock working um, at 75 watts with 22 souls, which is about the same efficiency as the CMP 30HX. Or, no, that was his right here. We got up to 0.3 efficiency with the power limit overclock. Nexa, these are awful. Do not mind Nexa with a P106. Kapow. I don't know. I mean, the hash rate itself is okay if you had free power. So I have been using these to spec Neoxa, uh, Meow Coin, and Chlor. And they do work. You can get them down to about 7.5 mega hash at 60 watts. So they seem to respond pretty well just to power limiting. So again, that's Kapow. Our top efficiency we saw on that was 0.1137. 0.2 is considered very good. Uh, Elephium, we had as high as 428 mega hash at 73 watts and as low as 322 at 36, giving us a maximum efficiency of 9.47 hash per watt. That's perfectly reasonable. Um, Ironfish, the hash rates are different. You can see them here, but the algorithm is exactly the same as Elephium. So the efficiency settings were basically the same. We got 37 watts. 1380 core, 200 offset, 810 memory. In the notes field, you can see if I had to NV to lock the card. I did for most of these. Um, pull, uh, what is this? Pascal? Yeah, Pascal doesn't lock very well with miners just because the developers have moved on from six year old GPUs. Radiant, same settings once again. And our maximum observed efficiency there. Oops. It's just these three. Looks like 6.2. And that was using 1305 core, 200 offset, 810 memory, 173 uh, hashes. I don't know if that's mega hash or hashes. I think it's just hashes. 30.5 watts, so the lowest power of the bunch. Uh, Caspa I did test, but it's not really relevant for GPUs anymore, so there it is. And then Dynex, this was interesting. So 1.8 kilohash at down to about 80 watts, but we were able to get uh, 1.6 kilohash uh, at 59 and then 1.54 kilohash at 58. So that gave us an efficiency of 28, which really isn't bad. I only tested Ergo once just because we kind of know the memory bin on this card. That was using a locked 4000 megahertz memory, which is the maximum for this uh, Pascal card, but we were able to put in a another offset in the, um, the NV tool. So we were able to actually compound and stack an offset on top of a locked clock. Uh, so there's that, 0.81 efficiency. Pigeon I was able to use, as it uses an older version of uh, CUDA on T-Rex. So there's our efficiency, 102 and 108, 7 point, we'll call it 7 mega hash. Uh, ETC, we know what these cards do. So again, there is the P106. If you guys just want to review those results, feel free to screenshot it. I'm going to upload this in as high resolution as possible, so hopefully it's all legible. If not, yell at me in the comments, and I will try to find a way to share this uh, with a linkable Google Sheet. All right, moving on to the 5700 XT. This Power Color Fighter 5700 XT. I was unable to test Pigeon and Conflux. Uh, Pigeon doesn't support AMD, and neither does Conflux, apparently. I didn't realize Conflux was CUDA only, but you can see we used pretty largely the same overclock. Uh, I did tweak it down as much as I could. This is a Micron memory GPU. So if you have Samsung, you should see lower power and you should be able to pull down the MVDD a little bit and the MVDD CI. Uh, you can see the minor software I used, the efficiency moved over here, and I did still have a PMD going. So flux, it's reasonable, but software power is much more tempting than the actual hardware power. We we're drawing 110 at the wall. 100 software for just under 39 souls. Reasonable. Nexa, not that great. I mean, 
it's okay considering the power, but it's it's a not great. Kapow, these actually are still doing really really well. Uh, we saw a uh, 0.178 efficiency on both of the overclocks, 25 and a half mega hash. Honestly, for density and cheapness, if you want prog pow specking, 5700 XTs are probably your goat. <clears throat> Alephium, pretty good actually. I mean, really not bad. 64 watts for uh, 657 mega hash, 10 efficiency. <clears throat> Iron fish, of course, a good efficiency too. Radiant, same deal. However, I feel like the efficiency is not quite as good on RXD because it's not using that Blake 3 algorithm. Caspa, again, I tested, but it's not really relevant anymore. And then the info everyone came for, which was Dynex. So it gets 33 efficiency, which is good for a cheap card. It's better than almost anything NVIDIA, uh, but it's still half of what the Radeon 7 does for efficiency, so... Keep in mind, if you're just buying a cheap AMD card to do Dynex, you might be better off with a BC-160 or a Vega. I'm not sure, I haven't tested them yet, but I will be testing a BC-160 soon. Moving down to the 5600 XT. <clears throat> That's right here. I only tested Dynex on it because those cards have been tested to the hilt on every other coin. If you want other algorithms tested on it, please just let me know. I will plug it back in. It's that Yestin cute pet card sitting right back there. So adorable. Anyway, that did 30 efficiency, so just about the same efficiency. Um, close on the hash rate, so if you can pick up 5600 XTs for 60, 70 bucks, that might be the goat for you. There are my overclock settings. <clears throat> um, I probably should copy and paste the uh, the qualifiers, huh? So you guys can tell what the hell's going on. There you go. So it's hash rate, software power, core lock, VDD, VDDCI, MVDD, memory clock, minor used. I will say the the memory is not nearly as strong on the 5600. This was also a Micron card, so if you have a Samsung one, you can probably do better. And then. Uh, last of these cards we have the RX 488 gigabyte so I plugged this in just to see what it would do not great not awful considering how ancient this card is I'm actually impressed with it so we were able to get 1.29 kilohash at 73 watts which was 116 watts for real giving us an efficiency of 16.629 so again any other algorithms you want tested on these old cards I'm not gonna get rid of them I'm gonna keep them around for testing but yeah, that's essentially the gist of it. Um, if you have any other questions, or uh, if you can't read the spreadsheet thing, let me know. I will try to toss it in the description retroactively, but uh, yeah. Happy mining.